Hello. Walking in my backyard here. Had to get away from the cell cellular world for a little while. You know, I'm making a video. <laughs> Sounds like an oxymoron. But, uh, just one uh, topic came to mind. Hope everybody's doing well, by the way. So, these little creatures. Uh, like jumping on the ice on the snow little black dots but you know whatever I digress <clears throat> had this topic in mind and it was like another topic from another spiritual type of book and it was uh, pretty much laughter and uh, laughter is very important. Humor, the importance of humor is, is huge. I don't know. I had some, uh, I had some laughs. I had some laughs while drunk and high and stuff. There was some laughs. But it seems, I don't want to call them fake laughs either. They're, I'm not sure how genuine they were. But, uh, um, I'm not sure really how genuine they were. But I have, uh, I have some real laughs in sobriety. Uh, well, they pretty much tell you to not take yourself so seriously, and uh, Rule 62 is that, just that don't take yourself so seriously. Uh, because I think a lot of us do. I think a lot of people do. And it uh, makes things tense and more serious. And I guess certain things in certain situations are. And it's hard to find humor in that. But I find humor in just about anything. I can laugh at just about anything, you know? Um, especially myself. I laugh at myself a lot. Um, I'm like the clown to my family here. I'm, I'm just a clown. And, uh, I don't know. I think it's brilliant. Finding all these sounds and dumbass faces and dumbass walks and movements. It's like brilliant. It comes to me like like breathing air. <laughs> you just make a dumbass face. And it's just dumb. And it's great and it's funny. I'll even look in the mirror and, and, and make myself laugh at, laugh at all the dumbass freaking faces I make. You know, and it just makes life. And what is life? My actions. My actions and it actually affects my thoughts. You know, when I'm laughing, it takes away anxiety. It takes away slights of depression that I feel. I don't feel like hardcore depression, like real hardcore people that feel it. And I feel really bad. I wish I could find humor. And I hope this, hope this helps somebody out there. But laughing is like one of the greatest healing things that helps me like it's on it's on the top it's probably like the top five or the top eight on my list that helped me the most with dealing with myself 
and others in the world. Laughing just just helps. Even in the, the roughest of situations, it just it just helps. It lightens the situation. It lightens my thinking. It lightens everything up. There's a couple movies I saw. They uh, express on how much laughing heals. It, it actually heals. It can heal you. I mean, I mean, there's psychos out there that laugh and stuff, and I guess it, I guess it helps them. But, um, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. How much I laugh today. I laugh so much. I make myself tear, and it's all genuine. It's all real. You know, I had those those goofy moments when I'm all drunk or high or something. And it was usually laughing at someone else's expense. Which I still kind of do nowadays, but a lot less. <laughs> it's messed up. It's messed up. When I see someone, like, hurt themselves, like, not not so bad where it's, like, serious, but, like, when they just, like, hurt themselves a little, I just start laughing. <laughs> I just start laughing. I can't help it. I can't help it. When I bust my ass, when I, like, fall, like, really hard, I'll just start laughing. After after a little bit, after I regroup, I'll start laughing. Like, ow, that really hurt. <laughs> Oh my god. I remember early sobriety. I had this bike. And I would go uh, riding. And uh, I wish I had that video. I made a video of that. I make videos of anything. But uh, I was riding a bike in, uh, in this park. And there was this part where there was like a lot of roots in the ground. A lot of, a lot of up roots. Roots that were like showing from the trees. Big, big roots. Where you need to like go slow or get off your bike and walk over because they're. I freaking tried flying through there and the thing, I flipped over the I flipped over the handlebars, I flipped over the handlebars, and I bust my ass so bad, and I just I broke out laughing. I broke out freaking laughing. You know, and it's like one of the greatest freaking things is just laugh, humor. Find humor and stuff. Even with the chaos that's going on in the world. Even with the chaos. It's not really too funny. But I try... Uh, I try to use humor more than anger. With what's going on in the world. Because anger... Uh, I mean, anger helps to a point, you know, it, it gets angry about sun and it, and there's a reason, you know, and I think it's good for like a point, you know, up to a point, but to, to be there all the time, um, I tired myself out. I really, being angry all the time really was work. I lived in anger for a long time and I didn't even realize that I did. I didn't even realize that I lived in anger, but I was just like, I was so physically tired from being angry. That once I started lightening it up, I could see on the other side. I could see the other side of how not to be angry all the time and what that feels like. And I'm just like, holy shit. How? Wow. It's 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 amazing when you start thinking a different way and start living a different way. How much things change. How much things can change. You have to take that leap. You have to take that leap and try a different way if you're not happy.
And uh, it's always told I didn't get sober to be miserable. So I laugh, man. I laugh. There's so many. There's so many things to laugh about. There's so many things to laugh about. It's like unbelievable. <laughs> And more importantly, I can laugh at myself. And it it takes away, like, it takes away a lot of stuff. Just as meditation does. Laughter takes away anger. It takes away anxiety. It takes away depression. Um, it takes, takes away worry. Which is an anxiety. Worry about the present, past, or the future. It takes, um, it lets in all these good, good things. Actually, it, it helps me to think clear. Kind of just like meditation. Meditation, you know, when I laugh and I have like a positive mindset. I can think clear. I can make different different choices, different decisions. Just because of laughing. Laughing is not just laughing. Laughing is a tool. Laughing is a spiritual tool. And uh, you know, I mean, being a clown is funny and making others laugh. You know, is is kind of like a skill, but you ever notice, especially uh, especially people that are like, were like not happy inside, like Robin Williams or something, made people laugh like crazy, and he was pretty much dead on the inside and, and killed himself. You know. But, uh, yeah, that's like a different thing, I guess. That's a different, different subject that could be tied on to laughing. Because it could fool people, too. It could fool people thinking that you're okay. Which is not okay. Which is, that's not okay. It's about being honest. But if I'm just genuinely... Just laughing. It really helps. So I hope that helped out, helped out uh, somebody out there. You know. Try laughing. Don't take yourself so seriously. Don't really take others so seriously either. <laughs> Which is, you know, yeah. Laughing at other someone else's expense, but you know it's progress. It's progress. I'm I'm a working progress. I'm not perfect. But I do find certain things to help me and help deal with me. I have to deal with me, which helps me to deal with the rest of the world. When I change me, my world changes. It's not really the world that changes. It's how I view the world. The more I change me, the more my the more the world changes. It's just my perception changes. That's all. So laugh more. There's a lot to laugh at. There's a lot a lot of people to laugh with. Just a lot of weird things while alive. You can get caught up in it and just have a good time. Be well, everybody. Have fun. And uh, catch you next time. Laugh. Laugh, laugh. <laughs> Peace.